Welcome to Postscript. Here we hope to answer your questions and help you dig deeper into the messages and sermons at FaithBridge by talking with the teacher of the day. Hi and welcome to Postscript. I'm Luann Riley, Grow Group and Discipleship Director here at Faith Bridge, and I'm here with Jill Sullivan, our Student Ministry Small Group Coordinator, who just brought the message, Living a Lifestyle of Mission. Welcome, Jill. Thanks, Luann. What a great message today, and loved how we highlighted the road and our Student Missions Program, and the message that you brought really about evangelism and sharing mm -hmm. the gospel and how to how to integrate that into our everyday lives as we try to live on mission. And so we had a few questions come in, so I'm just gonna jump into asking those, okay? All right. All right, so the first question that came in is, what do I do if I have a bad reputation with my own people? Maybe I feel like I've already blown my own witness, Christian witness with them. Well, I would say that you are in the same boat as the woman who we did study, that she was trying to avoid large crowds. She was ashamed of her reputation and she felt like she was worthless. That was why she was going to the well by herself. That was why she was avoiding people. So that could be similar to you. But I would encourage you that as she did after she experienced Jesus, she had the bravery and boldness to still go up to people. She initiated conversations in sharing with her community. So I would say you do the same thing. Have the bravery to do so even if it's uncomfortable or even if you feel like you are shameful or different than other people. I would just encourage you to still approach them. Okay, that's good. And I know sometimes when you, um, maybe maybe you're the first one from your friends to become a Christian, mm -hmm. um, that it can take time for people to see yes, these definitely. type of changes yep. in you. So just encouraging people to continue to be faithful to those yes. things. Um, okay, next question that comes around um, is, so for the person who maybe hasn't had the big 180 transformation, where the transformation in their life has been smaller, how do I make my transformation noticeable to people um, if my transformation isn't so drastic or dramatic mm -hmm. as the woman of the well? Maybe I've known Jesus for longer or my before Christ isn't quite as shocking or different as my after Christ, how can I make those changes noticeable? Well, I would say you just need to be talking about what Jesus is doing in you, because mm -hmm. that is going to look different for everybody. It'll look different from you to me in the ways that Jesus is working in us. So just be honest with where you are right now and where you've come from, because that is your own personal story that you get to share. It doesn't necessarily have to be a huge drastic change. It doesn't have to be black and white completely. It's a process, just like we were just talking about. It takes time for us to change. That's good. Um, and so the last question uh, came around a lot of the things we were talking today is, how do you see the Lord help you overcome fear? Um, what are some practical steps to overcoming the fear that you might feel when you're sharing truth hmm. with people? Well, I did get to experience that in reality in France over spring break. I was terrified before I went on that trip. I was so fearful that I really did, like I said, would just be blank when I got in front of those students. But I think some practical steps that I would share would just be to pray that you would have strength and you would have the courage to actually approach them and just talk. And then I would even say, maybe remove yourself from the task of it and look at the person who is sitting before you. Think about where their heart is, who they are, what they're passionate about, um, the situation of their life, and then how you can just speak into that. Mm. Being in conversation and relationship with people. Um, well, you certainly are, are doing a good job of overcoming the fear <laughs> and even getting to talk about it in yes, so, so many ways. I know that's huge. For me, when I started sharing with people, I also felt like I had so much fear and um, just the Bible saying that that doesn't come from the Lord, mm -hmm. that He wants yes. us to walk in power. So thank you so yeah. much for all the practical ways that you uh, encouraged us today, but also just encouraging us to share our faith. 
and be on mission. So thank you for your message today. Sure. And thank you for joining us here for Postscript. We'll see you back here next week. Thanks for joining us for Postscript. Help us keep the podcast interactive by submitting your questions during the morning services. Learn more at faithbridge.org slash postscript.